Why did you save me? Why? Because. Because my son was there. I lied. I, I didn't. We, 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 we could have. We could have lived. After. After this. Rick's muscles tense up here, which is the effect of the high levels of stress he's experiencing. The brain doesn't differentiate when it comes to stress and responds to the emotional stress in the same way as it does to stress caused by a real physical threat. As a result, Rick's muscles tense up when he's about to shoot the guy. His arm shakes, his mouth and face tense rapidly. This is all in response to the conflicting emotions that he's feeling because he knows that what he's doing is wrong. For those of you that don't remember, the savior let Rick free to help fight the horde of walkers, only for Rick to backstab them. Knowing this causes him extreme amounts of emotional stress, which his brain interprets as physical stress and as a result tenses his muscles to make them stronger and more resistant to damage, should he be attacked. He also distances and closes his eyes after he shoots the guy. He's clearly experiencing incredibly high levels of stress in response to doing what he just did, and his brain forces him to distance as a way to protect himself. Everybody turns. You saved me, Morgan. You saved me. I would have died. Maybe on that street. Right in front of your house. You didn't know me. Why'd you do it? Rick distances when Morgan walks close past him. He also looks at the floor, avoiding all eye contact. I think he does this here not out of fear, but out of emotional stress. Looking at Morgan, the man who saved him and showed him mercy after he just murdered a guy in cold blood, fills him with emotion. His brain forces him to look away to avoid the stress. Morgan then does what's called the Globus Sensation. As I said before, the brain considers all types of stress as a physical threat to life and as a result triggers the defense mechanism to try and protect itself. Morgan thinking about his dead son fills him with stress and as a result his defense mechanism gets triggered and his muscles begin to tense up. The Globus sensation occurs when the muscles in the throat become tense, which gives a person an overwhelming urge to swallow. This sensation is often referred to as a lump in the throat and can be observed in people who are experiencing emotional stress. We should go. Just tell me. Why'd you save me? You had your son there. No. You did. I know. Why'd you save me? Why? Because. Because my son was there.
Morgan does a distancing behavior here before answering Rick. Again, thinking about his son fills him with stress and he struggles to process it all. When trying to answer Rick, his brain forces him to look away to protect himself. And then he finally responds. Rick then looks to the floor as he thinks over everything. The nonverbal act of looking down has been heavily associated with feelings of guilt, sorrow, and sadness. And I suspect this is likely linked to eye contact. Humans are heavily social creatures and we evolved to be in the constant presence of others. Avoiding eye contact and looking down is a submissive gesture and likely evolved into us to show other people that you are not a challenge to them. It shows that you acknowledge that you've done something bad and that you don't wish to challenge them. More research is needed into this area of psychology, but it is truly fascinating. Overall, this is a really good scene and we see Rick become the bad guy. This is probably the lowest point for Rick Grimes in all of The Walking Dead. He manipulates a guy into trusting him before murdering him. It's cold and it's phenomenal acting from Andrew Lincoln as well as from Lenny James. I love the cracked reflection we see of Rick representing how broken he's become. It's a really good scene. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.